Older photographs have significant tonal issues where images are faded, altered over time, and with extreme color cast. In our example, the color of this vintage image has been shifted and our goal is to correct that color cast. Photoshop has some automatic adjustments like the auto tone, auto contrast, and auto color located right here inside the image menu. Adjustments that you can apply to your images and see quick results, but these adjustments are one stop, often referred to as destructive editing. So instead, we will choose an adjustment layer, in this case, a levels adjustment layer, so we can work non destructively and have more flexibility. We are actually going to do this in two ways and compare the results. In both ways, we're going to use a levels adjustment layer, one manual and the other with auto options. For the manual way, I will balance the image by adjusting the shadows and highlights for each channel and reset the black and white points to remove that color cast. So let's go ahead and do that. At the bottom of the layers panel, click on this icon and bring up the levels adjustment layer. And as I mentioned before, we're going to go to each of the channel, starting from the red channel, and balance the image. So I'm going to bring in the shadows here, bring in the highlights, go to the green channel, bring in the shadows, and then bring in the highlights, and do the same thing for the blue, like so. And now all we have to do is basically uh, tune this a bit more. So I'm going to go through each of this channel, kind of look what looks better. Like so, okay? All right, now, I like what I see here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a merged version of these two layers by using a keyboard shortcut to activate the stamp visible command. So you're going to do a shift select here, and then you want to run the shortcut that will be Control, Alt, Shift, and E, and on the Mac it will be Command, Option, Shift, E, like so. Okay, so let's uh, rename this, uh, that will be Manual. Hit enter return, and what we're going to do next basically is to uh, use the auto options and then compare both. Now let's see what we get with the auto color options. I'm going to go back to the layers adjustment layer here and I'm going to reset it and then I'm going to go for the auto option. So in order for you to do that you need to hold down the Alt key or the Options key on the Mac and just click on the auto button right here. And now we have the auto color corrections options with four algorithms to choose from. Now, by default, Photoshop comes starts with the enhanced brightness and contrast. And as you can see, this really doesn't really help me. So I'm going to start with the first algorithm here, the enhanced monochromatic contrast. So let's click on that. Basically, this algorithm is the same as if I go to the image menu and choose auto contrast. And what it does is it tries to make the dark part of the image close to black and the bright part of the image close to white without shifting colors. And again, this option has not helped me. These two options, these two options below, the enhanced per channel contrast and the fine dark and light colors are for color corrections. So I'm going to choose the enhanced per channel contrast first. And basically, this is the same as if you go to the image menu and use auto tone. And basically, what it does is, is does exactly what I did before manually with the levels adjustment layer. It's maximizing the tonal range in each channel to produce a more dramatic uh, color correction. Though this may remove or introduce some color cast. In this case, it has introduced a bit of color cast. So then I'm going to go to the third algorithm and see what that does. So I'm going to select that. And as you can see, we have a big improvement between the enhanced per channel contrast and the fine dark and light colors. The fine dark and light colors basically it pushes the lights and darks to a true black and white point in an image and maximizes the contrast. 
Now below here you have the ability to change that true black and white point and reassign them by using the color picker to set a value for the shadows, mid tones, and highlights. In this case, I just want to play around a little bit with the highlights and shift the white color not to be so white. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring this a bit to the red, just a bit. Okay, and I'm looking at the faces and also at the sky here, like so. I'm going to click OK. And lastly, not forget uh, the snap neutral midtones. Basically, um, you do this if you want Photoshop to find an average neutral color in the image. And if I choose so, well, this is not going to work either for me. So I'm going to uncheck that. And then I'm going to click OK. And then Photoshop asks me if you want to save the new target colors as defaults. I'm going to go for no because next time you launch Photoshop, it will remember those settings. So I'm going to click no. And then once again, we are going to create a merged version of these two layers. So shift to select those two layers. And we're going to use the keyboard shortcut to activate the stem visible command. That will be again Control Alt Shift E or Command Option Shift E on the Mac, like so. I'm going to double click to rename this auto. And basically, next what we're going to do is compare those two. So let's go ahead and compare those two. As you can see, there is a difference between the manual way and the auto way, as we can see in these layers here. With the manual here, we see that the colors are not as balanced as using the auto options. The manual has been affected, but also time consuming process going through each channel and manipulate it one at a time. So basically, if you want to make any further changes, you have to go back to each of the individual channels, the red, green, and blue, and make even further tweaks. Using the auto way here, the auto options, we're getting better results. It's a great place to start. It helps speed things up. And it's quite impressive how a simple automated level adjustment can repair an image with an extreme color cast. The key is to produce a very good result very quickly with some of the automated options inside the level adjustment layer. And as well as, let me not forget, the curves adjustment layer. So give it a try with your color cast images and see what it takes you. This concludes this lecture, and thank you for watching Third Element Train Tutorials.